WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is vowing that he may soon release, quote, a lot more material from a hack of the DNC computer system. Assange says that unreleased information is related to Hillary Clinton's campaign and that it is, quote, very interesting. Let's find out what we can from him about what it might be. He joins us now to talk about it from the Ecuadorian embassy in London. He's been staying there for four years, avoiding extradition to Sweden over sexual assault allegations, which he denies. Thank you for being with me, Mr. Assange. Uh, let's, let's begin with this. As you know very well, many are pointing their finger at Russia for this hack. And uh, the director of national intelligence, James Clapper, came out a few days ago and said they don't have enough to ascribe motive yet. But a senior U.S. official told us at CNN last week that there is, quote, little doubt that Russia is behind the hack. So WikiLeaks is all about transparency. Can you say definitively, categorically, that Russia had nothing to do with this? Well, I can say definitively, categorically, that your initial introduction is sloppy journalism, uh, which you know that WikiLeaks dislikes a lot because uh, we're very much concerned with accuracy. So I am not staying in this embassy avoiding extradition to Sweden. I have political asylum. The United Nations formally in February 5 this year found that the investigation against me was being conducted for an improper uh, purpose. The asylum pertains to an ongoing espionage investigation uh, in the United States, which has seen my alleged co-defendant, Chelsea Manning, imprisoned uh, for 35 years uh, and tortured. Uh, and the finding on the prison abuse is not just a finding by the United Nations. Another finding uh, in her case uh, is also a finding by the U.S. military court system itself. Mr. Assange, can we address the question at hand, and that is whether or not you can say definitively that Russia had no part in this hack? Well, I mean, what sort of, what sort of, what sort of question is that? Uh, I am a journalist. We don't reveal our sources. At the same time, as I said before, WikiLeaks is all about transparency. A and there are concerns among many, and they ask whether or not WikiLeaks is being used as an intelligence tool here, whether or not WikiLeaks is being used by a foreign government to manipulate the election in the United States. So there is a relevancy there. Uh, so what is the accusation here uh, precisely? Uh, no one disputes even a single uh, email that we have published is authentic. No one in the DNC, and not Hillary Clinton, uh, we have brought down the head uh, of the DNC with authentic information uh, provided to the public. Uh, we have a 10-year record of complete accuracy. Uh, the goal of WikiLeaks as a media organization uh, is to educate the public, uh, to turn a dark world into a lighter world mm -hmm. uh, through the process of education, and we're doing it. Mr. Assange, you spoke with my colleague Anderson Cooper on Friday, and you said, quote, we have more material related to the Hillary Clinton campaign. How damaging is that material? Well, it, it, rem it remains to be seen. I think it is significant uh, material. Um, it takes a lot of work uh, to verify the accuracy, to collate material into a form uh, where it is easy to understand, easy to search. Uh, well described, where some of the angles are uh, borne out uh, from the material. So that pro that's the process uh, that we are currently engaged in. Mm -hmm. uh, we are now confident uh, that the material is accurate, and so it's the second phase that we are engaged in, uh, which is understanding uh, what its importance is and what type of media partners we should have uh, to release it so it has uh, the maximum uh, uh, uptake by readership. And that's the, qu the question, right? You, you said to Anderson that before you released the other emails, the 20,000 emails from the DNC, it was for maximum uh, publicity, if you will. Any sense of the timing on when we may see what you have from the Clinton campaign? Are we talking about if, if you've gone th th thoroughly through it by then, perhaps right before the first debate? Well, we have quite a lot of material, so I think uh, we will stagger it in different batches as we are ready to publish each batch. Edward Snowden tweeted this because in, in this release of emails, it included some voicemails of children with their parents, some social security numbers and passport numbers. Edward Snowden tweeted, democratizing information has never been more vital. 
and at WikiLeaks has helped. But their hostility to even modest curation is a mistake. Why publish it in full and not redact some of those things, including some of those voicemails with children, for example? Well, there has been significant false reporting, for example, false reporting about there being credit card numbers in there. This is a play by the Clinton campaign. Uh, there is the last four digits of credit card numbers, just like there is on a uh, receipt uh, for something you buy at 7-Eleven. But there were some children's we're voicemails about, We're in talking there. here about the DNC. Uh, we are talking about the ruling party of the United States and its material, not private information, the information held by the DNC. Now, WikiLeaks has, uh, is not going to uh, be tampering uh, with evidence which will uh, almost certainly be used in several successive court cases. We have a history of that. Uh, our material has gone on in hundreds of different court cases to liberate innocent people uh, from prison, to secure uh, civil settlements up to $54 billion in one case against Russia uh, for its oil expir expiration. Um, so, and serious cases involving even CIA rendition. And so we know how to uh, publish material in such a way uh, that other journalists can be confident in its integrity uh, and where they can be used within a court system. Now, if you're talking about uh, some minor inconvenience uh, to a few billionaires or millionaires uh, that have had uh, some information about them being revealed uh, from the DNC itself, because they have tried to influence uh, the DNC through their cash flows. I mean, really, we have to keep things in proportion. Julian Assange, I wish we had more time. We'll have you back. Thank you very much. We're following a lot of news this morning. In just moments, we will speak with the family of the fallen Muslim soldier at the center of the feud with Donald Trump. So let's get right to it.